us to another episode on SOG 12 exams. So this is the 12th episode in a series of episodes that has focused on the 2020 Internal Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. So if you haven't seen the last 11 episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. The first episode focused on Section M, then the second episode looked at question B1. So let us look at this last question. Question C3, a learner used the apparatus shown below to determine the energy released when ethanol burns. So we have thermometer, then we have the conic flask, then we have ethanol. Question M, draw the displayed structure of ethanol. So the question wants us to draw the structure of ethanol. So let us create space. So for M, so ethanol is an alcohol. So it belongs to the organic compounds that have got this functional group. We feel the hydroxyl as a functional group. So now ethanol has got two carbons. So because it has two carbons, then it has the chemical formula of Whatever there is N, we put a 2, so it will be 2 times 2 here, we are going to get a 4, so 4 plus 1, it will be 5, then we fill this hydroxyl functional group like that. Then, having known the chemical formula, what we need to do is now draw the structural formula. So we are going to have the two C's, remember this does not have the double bond, so we are going to have the hydrogen this side, then the hydrogen this side, then the hydrogen on top, then, so these are five hydrogen that we are seeing here. Then this hydroxyl comes in here, like that. Once you do this, you are good to go. So, few things to take note about alcohols. So, alcohols are normally produced by reacting alkenes, which are these hydrocarbons with this functional group. You react it with steam by the process known as hydration. So, hydration in short means water is added. So, once you react an alkene with steam, which is water, you end up with him an alcohol. That's the genetic formula. So, for example, if you react ethene, this is 2, then this is form, you react it with steam, which is water, in the gaseous form, you are going to get ethanol we are talking about. So, just Take note of this relationship. It's very important that you know these principles because you might be asked any question. Question B. Write a balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of ethanol. So, complete combustion of ethanol. That's what the question wants us to do. So, let us go where there is space. So, this is B. Loma numeral 1. So, the key principle is noting that alcohols burn in plenty of hair to give two products, which are carbon dioxide and water. That's what normally happens. So you need to know that key principle. So what you are saying is you burn alcohols in oxygen, which is plenty of hair, then you are going to get carbon dioxide and water. So the formula for ethanol that we are burning, in this case, we just, from doing it, so we are going to get this one or this one, so it's in C2 H5, then this hydroxyl, so this is the liquid, then we are going to burn it in plenty of hair, which is oxygen gas, then we are going to end up with him carbon dioxide, which is gas, plus steam, which is water. So this is the equation that we are going to get. But the question is asking us 
to write a balanced chemical equation. So what we need to do is now balance this equation. So what you start with is looking at carbon. So we have two carbons here. Here we have one. So how can we balance this one? So we can start by introducing a two here. When you introduce a two here, what you discover here, we're going to have two, two. So carbon is balanced. Next, we're going to look at hydrogen. So hydrogen we've got five plus one, which is six. This side we've got only them two here. So how can we balance this one? So if you introduce a three here, we're going to have six. Then on this side, this six, then it has it balanced. Then next, we look at the oxygen. So we have one plus in two here, which is three. This side we've got two times two, which is four, plus this one, which is one multiplied by three. So we've got in seven. So this side we've got seven, this side we've got in three. So how can we get to seven? So if you introduce a three here, we're going to have six plus one seven. Then this side we are going also to have seven. Then the equation is balanced. So this is how the balanced equation looks. So once you do this, you are good to go and you get these two marks. Question Loma numeral two B when four point six grams of ethanol is burnt, five point four grams of water is formed. Calculate the mass of water formed when 13.8 grams of ethanol is burnt. So you have you burn this one ethanol, you get this. Then the question is what if we burn this? What will be the volume of water we're going to get? That's the question. So there are two ways you can answer this question. So I'm going to go with the simplest because this one is straightforward and it's much more easier to deal with. So the first one that you can go, which is a bit difficult, is for you to know the more ratio. So this is three because here there is a one, then this is a two, then this is a three. So what is telling you is if you burn one more of ethanol, you get three moles of water. So you need to convert what you've been given to moles, these moles and the moles, then you use the ratios like that. You'll be able to get the same answer, but in that way you're going to waste time. So we've been given the relationship already. So what I can do is I can just use this space which is here without wasting much of the time. So I'll use this one because I haven't used it. So we know that uh, ethanol, which is in then you have water. So what I've been told is if I burn for 0.6 grams of ethanol, I'm going to get how many grams of water? 5.4 grams. Then if now I burn 13.8 grams of ethanol, what will be the mass of water I'm going to get? So here I put 13.8 grams, then is equal to x because I'm looking for x. So at this point is just to close him, multiply. This time that one I'm going to get 4.6x is equal to 13.8 multiplied by this 5.4. To find x, I'll divide by 4.6 by 4.6. Then what is x? So x is going to be equal to 16.2. So if you use your calculator, you discover that x is nothing but 16. Point two, so we have sixteen point two grams here. So this is what will be produced. So this is the easiest way you can do it. The longer way is for you to find how many moles are in four point six, then how many moles of water are in five point four, then how many moles are in thirteen point eight of ethanol. Then once you do that, then you come and use that but ideally the more ratio is already given to you by the ratio in which these are being used and produced in that way you still end up with 16.2 grams but you're going to take more time we go to question c c loma numeral one define a fuel 
So C Loma numeral 1, what is a fuel? So when we're talking about a fuel, what are we basically talking about? So a fuel is any substance that produces a large amount of energy when it undergoes a chemical reaction. That is what is known as a fuel. So a fuel is any substance that produces a large amount of heat energy or just energy when it under goes chemical reaction that is what is known as a fuel so once you do this you are good what is key is you see any substance that produces a large amount of energy or heat energy when it undergoes chemical reactions such as either combustion or something question loma numero two of sin hydrogen is said to be a clean fuel explain what this means so the question is what is a clean fuel that's what we need to explain so let us just go to the cleaner page. So C Loma numero two. So what is a clean fuel? So when we're talking about clean fuel, we're talking about usually natural gas. So these are natural gases that are found in the deep underground lock formation or near the petroleum or coal reservoirs. They are called clean fuel. And why are they called clean fuel? They are clean fuel because they burn completely and produces 50% less carbon dioxide gas than the case with coal when burning. And also they are efficient in terms of combustion process and they are non-toxic or poisonous to humans. That's what we mean when we talk about clean fuel. So clean fuel refers to natural gas found in deep underground log formations or near petroleum or coal reservoirs so they are efficient in terms of combustion process then they they burn completely and produces about 50% less carbon dioxide when compared to coal when you see it is burning then what makes them clean thirdly is they are non toxic and poisonous so they are non toxic and poisonous or they are non toxic and non poisonous for humans so when you're talking about clean fuel, we're talking about one, the natural gases that exist in the deep underground formation near the coal reservoirs. Then what makes them to be clean is because they are efficient in terms of combustion process 
and hence they produce less carbon dioxide by about 50% less when you compare it to with him, combustion of coal. Then they are also non-toxic or poisonous to human beings. That's what makes them to be clean fuel. So thank you for joining me in this episode. So this is where we've come to the end of this series of episodes that focused on this paper. So join me in the next episode as we start looking at another set of paper to ensure that we prepare you for essaying your G12 exams.